On Wednesday, the House of Representatives passed a bill that could ban TikTok in the United States if the popular app does not separate from its Chinese parent company, ByteDance. The vote was bipartisan and overwhelming, even after TikTok lobbied aggressively against the bill and summoned its millions of viewers to speak out against it. So with cross currents of national security, the mental health of young Americans, and even presidential politics, what is the future of TikTok? NBC's Savannah Sellers has our Sunday focus. You will be destroying small businesses like us. TikTok creators descending on the Capitol this week. Save TikTok! You need to make your voices heard. Call them and tell them to stop the ban. Hoping to save the social media giant. TikTok appealing directly to its users. And we had millions of kids calling Congress, in some cases threatening suicide. Even flying creators out to Washington. They're trying to rush a vote to block TikTok. What would it mean for you and your family if TikTok were to be banned in the U.S.? It would be devastating. Being able to, to just launch out a positive message would be completely stopped. But in the end, the bill passed in a landslide. The yeas are 352, the nays are 65. And now heads to the Senate. If signed into law, it would force TikTok's Chinese owner, ByteDance, to sell the platform within six months or face a possible ban in the U.S., its biggest market. TikTok says around 170 million Americans use its platform, including 7 million small business owners, many of them now worried about their livelihoods. It is 100 percent of our income. Um, it's how I feed my wife and three children. But lawmakers say the move is a matter of national security. This app has the potential of being a mass surveillance tool against American people. Critics pointing to laws in China that allow the communist government to demand data from any Chinese-owned company. Several countries, including the U.S., have have already banned the app on government devices. We worried about the, the spy balloon hanging over the U.S. You know, a lot of people put this out. It's 170 million spy balloons. Another fear, the power and reach of a hugely popular foreign-based platform that's readily accessible to millions of Americans, many of them teenagers. The reason that is valuable to the Chinese Communist Party is it begins to allow them to know how to influence Americans. But TikTok CEO Sho Chu insists the app is not a tool of the Chinese government. You know, there's a lot of noise, but I haven't heard you know, exactly what we've done this long. Meanwhile, any possible sale of the app could prove costly and complicated. One of the issues is what do you get when you buy it? Because they're not going to give us the algorithm. Because if they give us the algorithm, we can see, in fact, if they've been spying. Former Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin already looking to assemble a group of investors. This should be owned by a U.S. U.S. businesses. There's no way that the Chinese would ever let a U.S. company own something like this. The current bill does not allow the government to remove TikTok from people's phones. Instead, it would be unavailable to download or update. But in countries like India, where TikTok is already banned, savvy users were quick to find workarounds. It all comes in a consequential election year, with both parties desperate to woo young voters. Do you think this could impact how people vote? 100 percent. There will be people that will not be reelected because of the way they choose to vote on this ban. Faced with uncertainty, some TikTok users already preparing for the end. And who knows if today is the day and this is the last video. As the app known for its global reach and viral moves now stands increasingly on rocky footing. And Savannah joins me now live. Savannah, good morning. Great to see you. So the bill did pass, as you said, overwhelmingly in the House. Things a little bit less certain in the Senate. But President Biden says he will sign it if it reaches his desk. So bottom line, is there really a chance TikTok will be banned in America? Yeah. Hey, Willie, good morning. Thanks for having me. So no matter what, an outcome like that is a long way off and maybe not so likely given the hurdles here. If the bill made it all the way to Biden's desk and he did sign it first, what happens then? That six-month countdown clock starts for TikTok's parent company to sell it off. And interested buyers, as I mentioned, are starting to materialize. Also, TikTok would almost certainly challenge a ban in court. That's going to add even more uncertainty, even more time here. And again, a ban really looks like no more downloading of the app, which means it would have eventually become defunct, even though it would not start disappearing off phones, at least as the law is written now. Willie? 170 million users. That's a lot of voting power it as sure well is. as we heard in your voters. piece. Fascinating stuff. Savannah, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel today all day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.